Hello and welcome to the Kenneth Rickhammer Law Office Legal Podcast. In this edition, we look at the eviction of a uh, tenant for the non-payment of rent, which uh, uh, some of the landlords call uh, getting rid of the uh, uh, deadbeat bums who bounce checks and don't pay. Uh, the uh, If the property is owned by an LLC or a corporation, then the landlord must hire an attorney at law licensed in the state of New Jersey. Sometimes, though, uh, uh, people will hire an attorney even if they own it in their own names because they're j they just can't stand dealing with the uh, tenants anymore. So, the attorney prepares the uh, uh, verified complaint uh, for non payment of rent. Um, needs to put the plaintiff's uh, full legal name, the defendant's name, the address of the property, um, and um, how long the tenant has been in the property, what the uh, monthly uh, rent is, and then there's a section dealing with what is unpaid. Now, the for the purpose of eviction, you can't count uh, uh, legal fees. That has to be in a separate suit. The only thing the landlord-tenant court can do is evict a tenant. They can't award uh, damages. So, for example, the uh, complaint that we prepare will put in uh, that they owe base rent for whatever month, late fees for whatever month. Uh, the only time you get attorney's fees is if it's actually in the lease. And then we put a section in that says if the complaint is after, let's say, the first of the month, what's due for the next month. It's signed by the attorney. It's signed by the landlord. It's filed with, uh, with the uh, Special Civil Port Tenancy Division, uh, and uh, also the attorney has to prepare what's called a summons. Um, the proper amount of uh, summons and complaints are filed. It's then uh, served by a constable. The court schedules a court date. The landlord must be there. If the tenant does not show up, the um, there's a default against the tenant, uh, and uh, the landlord uh, fills out what's called the certification of landlord. Uh, the attorney fills out the certification of the attorney, and then we have our clients, the landlord, go over and uh, fill out the paperwork for a warrant uh, of removal and pay the fee for that. And then the constable doesn't re remove them, but serves it upon them. The only way the tenant can stay in is either they pay all the rent due or there's a, uh, a consent to enter judgment where the tenant can stay as long as, the, as long as they're willing to pay. If they sign it, they don't pay, then the landlord uh, and their attorney needs to do what's called a certification of breach, fill out the warrant for removal, and then if it's after a certain number of days, they also have to serve it on the tenant and pay additional fees. If that's done, the tenant won't get out, then the landlord makes arrangements to meet with the constable for what's called a lockout. Um, they can't just throw their stuff into the street, but the constable comes, locks are changed, and it become, it's, it's not an easy process, but where the tenant owes you money, you might as well get them out and get someone who's willing to pay. For representation in landlord-tenant cases, I tell people up front, uh, as an attorney, our minimum uh, fee is $1,500 and our console fee is $200. So if you're not willing to spend the money, then uh, um, you know, I'd say uh, you're just letting the tenants stay there for free. For representation, contact the loss of Kenneth for Cameron at 732-572-0500. There's some additional information on our website, njlaws.com. Thank you.